Let's build a keyword index into your book. If you're using Word as your formatting manuscript, adding a keyword index is actually pretty simple. You're going to put your mouse where you want your index to go. You're going to click on the tab References. This opens up the References ribbon. On the right hand side is the Index area. You're going to Insert Index. You can choose to a classic view, a fancy format, a modern format, or a bulleted format. You can write align page numbers. You can have, over on the right hand side, you can choose to have three columns or two columns. There's a couple of options that you have. Let's go for modern and just hit OK. Now, because I don't have any entries identified yet, there's no index entries found. But let's go add some indexes. Okay, so let's highlight. The easiest thing to do is highlight your the word that you want to mark. If you're already on the ribbon of references, then you can just click Mark Entry. You'll see that transition is beginning of a sentence, so it is capitalized, and I want my index entries to all be capitalized. And this is just a fairly straightforward one. It's going to be current page. I could, the page numbers, I could bold or italicize. I'm not going to. I could mark just this specific entry, so just this word, or I can mark all. So I identify the word I want and Word goes through and identifies all the pages that it it's there. You'll see that on this transition um, it has the uh, XE transition is in quotes but if you look down here there's another entry for this word transitions. Um, so you can close this. Let's highlight plan. Mark entry. Now you'll see that plan is bold and you won't, you, again, you want to have your index entries same, so capitalized but unbolded and not. So you can do a control B if you're in Microsoft, or this shortcut is the Apple B, um, or you can just click on, let's see. and that's where you can unbold or bold. Okay. All right, so we've unbolded it and we're going to mark all. As soon as you start marking the entries, you are now in you can see all of the paragraph marks which sometimes make it, makes it difficult to find other um, items, so I'm going to close that and time management and highlight. Since I'm not no longer on the references ribbon, I can go click on the references ribbon and go to mark entry or I can just do a search for mark entry, mark index entry and it opens up that window. It's time management is not bolded, it is capitalized and I'm going to go ahead and hit mark all. So I already have time management, but here's another way of saying it is task management. So I'm going to mark entry. Because I don't necessarily use task management throughout the document or the word throughout the document, I'm going to cross reference it. So if somebody, if my reader is looking for task management, I am going to direct them to time management. That way I've already marked all the entries for time management. I'm just telling them to go to task management. 
as you go down here you can see again you can mark this spe this specific word but because you're cross-referencing it's not going to mark all of them you're directing everybody to time management let's say to do list and as soon as you if you've chosen to search for a mark index entry one time as soon as you move your cursor to that search box recently used items show as mark index now I want to capitalize because all of my keywords are going to be capitalized in the index I'm going to capitalize here Okay, and I'm going to mark all. Oops. And close. Let's go down to the key. I've marked some entries, but now I need to update the field. You can go to the References tab, Index Area, and Update Index. Or you can just right click and choose to Update Field and there's the time management. So that's how it's all going to look. Let's do one more timer. Okay, so I want to do mark timer as an index and hit mark all. I'm going to go back to the keyword, update it. As you can see, this timer is in lowercase. Now I could edit it here, but anytime I edit and update the whole index, it's going to come back to lowercase. So I'm going to search for timer. I'm going to search for timer in quotes because that's that marking, and I don't have any matches. Keep in mind that these are only visible when you show them. So let's try that again. All right, so. And you can do any of them. So I'm going to do capital timer. And now let's go back to the. keyword here so it's showing here but let's update the field okay so I updated that one timer and it's only that one entry that was updated so what I'm going to have to do is do a a find and replace okay so timer and it's all in quotes so replace all. Now let's see if this index. So we're going to update field and lo and behold all of them have been changed to the capital timer. You decided that you don't like this particular uh, style so let's go back let's insert an index and let's change it to classic OK and it asks, do you want to replace this index? So you might think that you're adding another index, but it's just going to replace it. And that is how you, I just deleted a, um, a break, so let's add it back in. All right, and then So there's your keyword index.